What is up, my bros? It's your boy, Chukai Rossi, on the Bugs Man channel, bringing another action figure tour review. This time, we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Mash Burn Dead from Mashal, aka known by his meme name online, Harry Squatter, the boy who lives. <laughs> so, Mashal has actually become one of my new favorite animes of the season. I know it's currently on season two. I missed out on season one the first time around, which is probably when this came out. This actually came out in October of 2023. But my buddy Jotaku and I, we did a little figure exchange, and he managed to grab one of these from the Tomashi store over in New York. So that's why I have him here today. But yeah, we're going to be taking a look at Mashal, of course. You can see here, we got Mash in the front. You know, his condescending, I will bury you <laughs> pose. You see Mash in there, because like the, like I said, this was a retail release, and the Tomashi Nation store in New York had him in stock. So you see a couple of his expressions there, the little cream puff, his iron wand, his, his dumbbells, barbells, because you know, he lifts. <laughs> of course, Mash on here. Mash on the back, Mash in various poses, and of course because Mash is kind of one of those guys who doesn't really have that many expressive expressions, he does have a couple of different faces, but they're kind of all substandard in terms of showing any form of expression, but he's really cool. Like I said, he was a Tommy Nation store, so that's why he still has a little Tommy Nation store sticker here. And Mash printed it on the side. As of right now, Mash, Lance Crown, and Dot Barrett are the only three Mashal releases. We have yet to get Finn, a uh, Finn Ames or Rain. Uh, we haven't got in Lemon. <laughs> I don't know if we are ever going to get Lemon, <laughs> considering how much she does in the show. We haven't got in pretty much any other characters besides those three. But until then, I just have Mash. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at his accessories, articulation, his paint job, as well as compare it to other figures from the SH Regards line and other lines if we can. So let's get into it. And here's Mash out of the packaging in the very standard, you know, ready to kind of pose up. Pose. <laughs> But as you can see, he stands uh, pretty decent. Uh, his cloak, while it may look a little bit in the uh, picture, it's kind of like a black. It's actually more of a very dark navy blue, uh, which kind of fits with the whole fact that he is part of the Al Alder. Is it Adler or Adler? Alder and Adler. <laughs> One of those two. Um, his house, essentially. Because <laughs> like I said, this is basically, it's Harry Potter if Harry Potter did not have any magic and uh, relied pu purposely on string. So... <laughs> Yeah, this is really cool to see him here. He's got the nice brown loafers, red tie, and of course his little scar mark, or fake scar mark, <laughs> that's spoilers for you guys, uh, on his face. But he's actually pretty good. Uh, we got the Adler logo back there. The hood, unfortunately, is just molded on there. I would have liked it if they had a soft plastic hood that you can lift up to see the full Adler thing. And because he is a robed character, uh, I like actually how they did this. It doesn't look really that great though is that they included these little hinges over here so that way you can actually pull the rope out for poses it's really cool and of course the other thing i don't really like is the fact that his sleeves are this massive chunk you can see right there you can see his hand and his uh his shirt sleeve in there go ahead and put the thing in it. but it's all one solid piece like it's a uh, it would have been cool if it could have been a removable robe, but I understand why they couldn't. At the same time, I wish that they could have made the sleeve portions at the bottom here also the same kind of softish plastic as this. So that way it could have uh, been a little bit easier to kind of mold and move around, but you at least have that without throughout here on the front part. Like I said, the, the hood is actually that soft rubbery plastic, but because of how much they layered it, it's just kind of stuck there. But yeah, with mesh, you can see him right here. It was the same, just neutral expression that always has on his face. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Of course, his pants are also kind of uh, kind of pleated a bit, so you can see the little lines right there. And he has, like I said, the brown loafer style shoes or kind of dress shoes. But in terms of articulation, I go ahead and shed some more light on him. Real quick, as an SH figure, you can't look that far up that far down of course using the dumbbells in the head and neck you can stick uh, his arms this far up actually so you can get a very wide you can go wide pose <laughs> full articulation here that is on a butterfly style joint though so he can move his arms in pretty far and pretty far out too swivel over here a little bit above the bicep Double joint elbows that go this far in, which I do kind of like that they have kind of this cover, but at the same time, I feel like they could have gone without having this, if anything. And wrist articulation. 
he has a diaphragm cut there, so he can't actually move his diaphragm like that around. You can bend this far forward at the diaphragm, but then because of the waist joint, you can actually bend this far forward, that far back, it's very far back. He has thigh swivel, so, or well, he can kick that far up, <laughs> that far back, thigh swivel. He can kick this far out. Double joint knees, as well as ankle articulation, ankle pivot, and toe articulation. But yeah, as Mash, like I said, is a non-magic user, lies on his muscles, comes with a fair sort of accessories. Um, he does have two dumbbells <laughs> for him to lift with, and you pop off one end in order to slide it into his open hands, or his gripping hands, which are these ones. I need to double check and see if I can actually have him hold this Fortnite, <laughs> uh, you know, big bar <laughs> set there. He has these kind of more relaxed out hands. Oh, oops. I think I were actually meant to kind of hold his cream puff because he's obsessed with cream puffs. Speaking of, this is the cream puff. I wish we could have gotten a bigger one or a slightly more detailed one. But what can you do? <laughs> he also has kind of more like I'm ready kind of fight hands. He does have his well actually I can't tell between the two. I think that this one's supposed to be his wand holding hand and then this one is supposed to be his like condescending I will bury you hand. Of course he has his fists on his face. And then he has a Good amount of different expressions. Actually, it looks like a missing one. Where'd that one go? <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. First one I pulled up is actually when he's eating his cream puff. Little crumbs on his chin or cheek. Bulge out cheek right there. <laughs> Looking to the side, all nervous. Like, uh, yeah, I can use magic. <laughs> Do -do. Again, standing up again. kind of blanked out expression like he's kind of lost in thought and then his looking down at you oh. <laughs> that dropped <laughs> hold on a sec technical difficulties he's looking down at you like i will bury you face <laughs> and of course like i mentioned his iron wand Yeah, Mash is definitely a fun character, but we'll go ahead and pull out other characters from Message for God's Line and compare them. As I said, Mash is one of my new favorite animes that's currently airing, so might as well bring out my favorite anime of all time. Here is Luffy from One Piece and Yamato from One Piece, now rocking that Bell Workshop skirt. So no more large plastic skirt on, on him. Well, actually, you can barely see him because of how tall he is. <laughs> And then of course there's Luffy with an updated version of my custom sash. One hand just leaving the hole. Here, I'll just demonstrate real quick. So now it's just connected to his actual sash. So being that weird wrap around that I made before. <laughs> Here he is next to Kid Naruto, who I got from Frankenstein's. Finally got to visit that place. Really awesome. I recommend going at least once in your life if you can. Here he is next to Denji from Chainsaw Man, who I've been playing a lot with more, and I really want to get uh, power at some point. Here he is next to the world's strongest man from Dragon Ball, the world's strongest human. Here's Krillin. And of course, the deadliest punch in anime history goes to Anya. <laughs> now, because I'm going to be having him beat up a couple of these figures, here is one of them, a landing collection, Tengu, Tengu Warrior. Call him a Tengu. See, it looks like compared to a domestic. And because I've lagged on this review for a long time, here is the SH Figure Arts 2 plus 1. His review will probably go up the same day he goes up, so keep in mind for that. But yeah, these are a great assortment of figures. I really like them all. I definitely recommend picking up MASH if you happen to like the anime. I know that BuzzMod currently has one that's going to be coming out, I think, in September that does feature a cloak that or a robe that is made out of cloth that you can also remove. But if you don't mind not having that, I know also Buzz Mod is a little bit pricier. But yeah, if you can, I'd say pick up MASH if you can. 
But yeah, if you happen to like this review, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, as well as check out other videos on this channel. You can actually check out the Yamato review, as well as the Kamen Rider Gazer review that I put up uh, a couple weeks ago. And uh, also check out our social media. You can follow me at 2KROs on both Blue Sky and Twitter, or X as it's called now. You can follow me at ReggieRay93 on Instagram and Threads. You can follow the show's Twitter, which is bugs 2 men and Gary's Twitter, which is GBX93. But yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, check out other videos as well as, you know, tune in. Like I said, he's probably going to go up next after this one. So <laughs> be sure to check that out when you can. And I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the photos. Bye.